So I made quite a few different blogs on a social media site called Cohost. It's wonderful. I would tell you to sign up for it, but unfortunately, it doesn't have funding. So it's shutting down at the end of the year, and it's going read-only, by which I mean you can't write anything on it, but you can still read everything on it at the end of this month. But I wrote quite a few different blog posts there, and I figured since those are going to disappear, um, rather than just uh, – because I can save them, and I will before, it, before the uh, site closed down – um, but rather than just like repost them on Pillow Fort or something, I figured I would just um, read some of the best ones out here um, as video content, and that'll be a good way to preserve them. Uh, this one in particular is about how much I loathe the remake of Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life, um, which is Story of Seasons, A Wonderful Life, that was released in 2023. And this blog post is entitled, Marvelous Defiled My Childhood and Would Have Me Pay Them For It. And it goes a little something like this. One game, and one game only, has consumed my thoughts and invaded my nightmares over the past week. Keep in mind this was written the same week that this remake came out. I will do anything to shake it from my mind. So I thought perhaps writing a blog post about it might help me rid myself of the demon once and for all. Dread it. Run from it. Story of Seasons A Wonderful Life arrives all the same. In W.W. Jacobs' classic horror short story, The Monkey's Paw, an elderly couple wishes for 200 pounds on the titular arcade item, which they receive in the form of an insurance payout after their son is killed in a factory accident. Later, the couple wish for their son back, but hearing a groaning and banging at the door, the father fears that his son has been revived as some horrid, ghoulish version of himself and uses their last wish on The Monkey's Paw to return their son to the grave. I remind you of that famous tale because I wished on the monkey's paw for a remake of Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life. I can hear that ghoul knocking at my door now, but unlike the aforementioned elderly couple, I fear I lack the last wish needed to kill it. For someone who holds Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life so dear, Story of Seasons A Wonderful Life is a soulless facsimile of the original, like a stranger wearing the skin of someone you hold dear. The bar in the village has been changed to a cafe. Animal mortality, one of the defining features of the original, has been removed entirely, removing much of the challenge. The disheveled village hobo, Murray, clad in rags and a tin can, has been replaced by a flower bush wearing, well groomed, smiling dwarf with a teacup named Pooey. The brutish and muscular artist Cody has been yassified into a thin fitness model shaped man named Gordy. The entire village is bright, cheerful, and merry, where once it was dark, melancholic, and quiet. The original game had a color palette of deep, earthy hues. It was the first Harvest Moon, where both you and your animals are fated to die. The game covers topics like loneliness, social exile, failure in relationships, obesity, mortality, and more. Sure, this is done in a fun, humorous way, but these are still tackled. Why, then, is this remake so cheery and upbeat? In this English localization, Forget-Me-Not Valley has been changed to Forgotten Valley, a fitting change indeed. There are no lasting memories to be made within this pale imitation of the original. I hate this game, and more than that, I hate what it represents. This crusade by game publishers to seemingly sand the edges off every game they remake, as though those blemishes and imperfections weren't integral to the charm of the original. Art styles must be synergized, characters sanitized, gameplay simplified. Everything must be on brand. A child will play this remake, and to them, it will most likely be what the original was to me. A masterpiece. A game that may well define their childhood. I should feel joy that another generation will get to delight in the same experiences I did, diluted though they may be. I should. I recognize I definitely, totally should. Maybe Story of Seasons A Wonderful Life is the harbinger of my bitter old gamer era, where I shake my fist at games I perceived as being soft compared to the games back in my day. That's not to say I haven't had moments like that already, but those were older gamer moments that I could revel in. Such complaints tend to exude a certain Statler and Waldorf energy that's clearly said half in tongue-in-cheek. I'm not bitter in those, in those moments. Instead, I'm grateful I got to experience gaming in a different era, 
and the perspective I gain from it affords me the right to needle and heckle younger gamers who I feel accept unnecessary downgrades and take certain conveniences for granted. Story of Seasons A Wonderful Life, however, is different. It's the first time where there's no humor and no gratitude behind such feelings. There is only the melancholic sting of regret. They took that which my childhood held sacrosanct and defiled it. And while I could not have stopped them from doing so, for years, I wished on that monkey's paw for a remake, knowing full well that they could not, they, I mean, they could not ever do it justice. It appears the ghoul knocks again. I am compelled this time to answer, and perhaps it is for the best that I am out of wishes. So there you are. I hope that that blog post read gave you a good idea of how much disdain I have for this remake. And I recognize that if I sat down and, and actually dug into this thing, I'm sure it's mechanically superior to the original, and I might actually somewhat enjoy it. But on principle, just what they've chosen to do here, I, I can't... I can't uh, approve of it. Like, I, I just can't accept it. I don't agree with it. And so I just, I don't see myself popping that, um, that game, that game's cart into my Switch anytime soon. Um, but anyways, thank you for listening. Let me know in the comments what you think about this, um, and what you heard in this blog post. Um, obviously like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and like my content. This is a small channel, so the more you do, the more it helps. Uh, and of course, I don't really think there's anything else to say. So, this is Unending Quandary saying thank you for listening and watching, and I'll see you again real soon.